Good morning, fellow Toastmasters, youth leaders, and dear guests. My name is Adif, and I will be the sergeant at arms for today's meeting. I welcome you all to the fifth, uh, to the sixth, uh, to the sixth session meeting of the Bahrain IT Professional Toastmasters Club Youth Leadership Program. Before starting the meeting, I would like to mention three ground rules which we follow in our Toastmaster meeting. Please turn off your mobile phones or put them on silent mode. As Toastmasters, we don't talk about religion and politics, so please refrain from discussing these topics. Please do not cross talk. Every Toastmasters club shares the same mission clearly defined in the following mission statements. We provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in great self-confidence uh, and personal growth. Though this, though, though this mission, each Toastmaster gains a clear understanding of the club's purpose from a, uh, from a shared set of values and goals. With it, uh, so please welcome our youth leader program president, uh, uh, President Amatullah. Oh, sorry, Vice President Amatullah. Over to you. Thank you for the introduction, Sergeant Arms. I would like to hand over the meeting to the Sergeant Arms to say the minutes of the meeting from the previous meeting. I think the secretary is not available, so we can skip that for now. Okay, sir. Uh, I will, uh, sir, who's our MC? Me. Okay. I would like to hand over the meeting to the MC for the day, Master of Ceremonies, Youth Leader Ayan Muhammad. Ibrahim, over to you. Toastmasters, youth leaders, members, and guests, good morning. I am Mohammed Ibrahim. I'm your master of seminaries today, and I will welcome you to yet another amazing and fun fact BYLP session. So now, let's introduce our role players. With that, so first, the, so the first one is our timer. Managing time has been a key factor to any speech, and usually speakers find it really hard to lack time. So our timer uh, for today is Ahmed Taufik. He's a Thank you, MC. What? Greetings, youth leader, youth uh, leaders, to, uh, and guests. As timer, I will time the table topics speakers, formal speeches, and the evaluations. I will also alert each speaker of the time they have left using the green screen, yellow, and the red and, and red cards, which denote specific times remaining. Table topic speakers should limit their remarks to no more than two minutes. At one minute, I will raise the green card at 1 minute 30 seconds, I will raise the yellow card. At 2 minutes, I will raise the red card. Icebreaker speeches should be 3 to 4 minutes in length. At 3 minutes, I will raise the green card. At 3 minutes 30 seconds, I will raise the yellow card. At 4 minutes, I will raise the red card. The individual evaluations should be 2 to 3 minutes. At 2 minutes, I will raise the green card. At two minutes and 30 seconds, I will raise the yellow card. At three minutes, I will raise the red card. Over to you, MC. Ahmed Tofik, okay. uh, sorry to cut you on that. Can you show the virtual backgrounds, please, of your different colors that you have? It? So that everybody understands on what, how you're going to show the virtual background. You're muted. Can you just display and speak about it? Thank this you. This is the green screen. This is the yellow screen. 
And this is the red screen. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, so now let's introduce our grammarian. Communication is effective when the language is lucid and most importantly, clear. To keep on check on our language skills, we have our grammarian, which is Amatullah. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. As a grammarian, I'll be come, I'll be uh, in touch of your miss what what uh, uh, spelling mistakes you make speaking and I'll be we have lost you Amatullah the word of the day is impromptu uh, over to you MP. okay so now let's uh, introduce our speakers so our very first speaker for today is uh, Amna Khan. Yeah, is she here? Amna Khan. So we skip, uh, we go to straight to Aisha Hanif because Amna Okay. Okay, so our third speaker is uh, Aisha Hanif. So yeah, Aisha Hanif. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, before I start my speech, a small thing that I want to say. Mm. Actually, I've lost my voice a bit and it's been cracky, so please bear with me for the whole speech. I would appreciate that. Chief coordinator, mentors, fellow youth leaders, a very warm good morning to everyone. My name is Aisha Hanif, and today I'm going to be giving a speech with the title, When I Become a Big Boy. There was a boy who said, when I become a big boy and do this and this, I'll be happy. And when he became a big boy, he said, when I finish college and I do this and this, I'll be happy. He finished his college and then he said, when I get my first job and I do this and this, I'll be happy. He got his first job and then he said, when I get married, and do this and this, I'll be happy. He got married and then he said, when I, when the kids get out of school and I do this and this, I'll be happy. His kids got out of school and then he says, when I retire and I do this and this, I'll be happy. And when he retires, what does he see? His entire life just passed by in front of his eyes. Procrastination. A lot of people hide, practice procrastination by hiding under these big words, I'm analyzing. And six months later, they're still analyzing. What they don't realize is they're suffering from a disease called paralysis of analysis and they keep analyzing all the time. And that is a deadly disease. And then there's another lot that practice procrastination by having these ready-made answer. I was about to do it. I was going to do it. I was just, I'm preparing myself, I'm getting ready. And six months later, they're still getting ready. Excuses basically. And there's no cure for this disease as well. Life is all about that one shot and just give it a go. You need to wait for a perfect moment. I'm not against the idea of, you know, planning for your future. No, you should plan for your future. But in order to put your plans in action, you need to get up right now, right away to stop procrastinating. I'd like to end with a small poem that by John James Alpey that goes like, he slipped beneath the moon and basked beneath the sun. He lived a life of going to do and died with nothing done. So with that, 
thank you and back to you those masters of the day you're muted so our next speaker is uh, joel joy A warm welcome to all the students. Joel, 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 before you come on, please, can you pin the timer? Timer is Ahmed Tofik. Okay, sir. Men mention timer. Okay, so sir. Don't, don't track of the timer. Okay, sir. A warm welcome to all the students present here. Today, I'm going to talk about will banning plastics help? Every day, we come across plastics in different forms, from storage containers to small candy wrappers. It's all plastic. It is not possible to ban plastic in every form as it is very easy to use. In this speech, let us learn how the downside and how banning plastic bags will help us. Plastics are mostly derived from petrochemicals and can be found in various forms. Plastic bags are more easily available everywhere and easy to use. Most of the pollution is caused by these plastic bags which, even after disposal, do not break down for over hundreds of years. Plastic bags can also be a major reason for air, water, and land pollution. Being light in weight, they can be carried away by wind and as a result will land in between growing trees, fences, garbage, and even water bodies. It would be harmful as if one consumes without knowledge, it will lead to suffocation and death. As these are not natural mineral materials, Enzymes and bacteria will not be able to degrade them. This, when not disposed properly, are eaten by the animals and birds, thinking it would be their food. The small particles of plastics also end up into the soil and grown up along with the other plants. At the end, it is indirectly induced into the human food chain, when through crops and meat and harm human body as well. Some store edible things in plastic bags for a longer amount of time which is very unsafe. Prolonged use of plastic can lead to serious diseases like cancer. Burning plastic bags is equal as equally as harmful as dumping them in trash, as it can cause a lot of toxic gases to be emitted, which will be harmful in inhalation. Ban on plastic bags can help in reducing the manufacturing of it and encourage the recycling and reuse, hence reducing the amount of litter. To reserve the animal and bird species and to protect our ecosystem, banning of plastics can be helpful. Banning them will make people seek for an alternative option, whereas some will opt to use recycled goods. This, on the other hand, can increase production of sustainable, sustainable products made out of sustainable materials that do not cause any harm to the environment and can be easily available. Seeing the outcome of using plastic bags, many cities have banned the use of plastic globally in an attempt to preserve the environment for the coming generations. It is a responsibility of each and every individual to be responsible to their actions and take a lead to minimize usage and to dump them suitably. With the increasing changes in the global climatic condition and depletion of the ozone layer, strict ban of plastics will help in scale down the adverse effect. With proper awareness and understanding, ban of plastic bags will help for a better environment. Thus, banning plastic will reduce many types of pollution, health issues, and end endangerment of various animal species, and a lot of problems. I would like to end this speech by a quote by Sir P. S. Jagadish Kumar. Ban every form of plastic before plastic bans every form of life on the earth. Thank you, and back to you, MC. So, our last speaker for today is uh, Zaid Mulla. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Today, I am going to speak on my topic, Never to Fall. It was Saturday morning, March 2018. I was excited that day as it was my first time I was going for a race. I was happy and at the same time, I was nervous. Luckily, I had some friends waiting for me at the race too. They cheered me up not to worry and that everything is going to be fine. I registered for three races, 50, 100 and 200 meters and then started the 50 meters race and it did not go well. I was a little sad about that, but
but I did not lose hope. Then started the next one, a hundred meters race. I just looked aside in the lane and saw someone registered their name as AK-47. I saw him racing in the previous race too. He was like his name itself. He was running like a bullet. Justify the registration, he won the 50 and 100 meters race. And I even lost the second one too. Then came the 200 meters race. And I said to myself that I don't want to lose this time. There, I just focus on my race. And I prayed to God that please support me. And I promised myself to give it my 100%. I ran with all my vigor and finally, finally, I won the race. Even though I came in second position, for me, it was like achieving something that was impossible. How much ever you fail in your life, remember to get up. Today you go for your first job. It's your first job. You go with no hope. You fail. Today you go out in the world trying to invent something new. You fail. Today you go climb the mountain, you keep on falling, but the moment you decide that you won't give up, that's the time when you will achieve success. Life gives you many directions, left or right, but it is you who decides whether you will give up or give it all you have got. And when you have decided that you won't give up, that's the time when you will achieve success. With the small story of mine, I would like to conclude saying, never give up, no matter what. Keep trying till you succeed. Thank you. So now uh, let's have our timer for telling us the for telling us how much time uh, every speaker took. Where is the timer? Yes, the first speaker took 2 minutes 49 seconds. The second speaker took uh, 3 minutes 27 seconds. The third speaker took 2 minutes 25 seconds. Over to UMC. Okay, so now let's move on for the poll for the best speaker. Uh, today is different, Ayan. Today we will, okay. not have, we will not have the polls in here. We will have the polls okay. in the main session. Oh. Because of the role players have been constantly being changed. So we will have it mm -hmm. in the main session. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the evaluators. So our first evaluator is uh, Ritika Parveen, who will be evaluating Aisha Hanif's speech. An evaluator is not only evaluating others, but also evaluating myself. Good morning, respected mentors and my fellow friends. Today, I am evaluating Aisha Honey with a speech titled, When I Become a Big Boy. Your introduction, body, and conclusion was good. Your voice was loud and clear. Your poem was amazing. And here are some suggestions. You can use more of your hand gestures and use a virtual background. You have a lovely smile that you can use while you're speaking. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe. So our uh, next evaluator for today is Amatullah, who will be evaluating Joel's speech. Good morning, everyone. Today, I will be evaluating Joel Joe's speech. Uh, Joel, your speech was a uh, your your speech was a relevant and important for today's time. Uh, today's time, I have a few sessions. You weren't uh, very audible to uh, to me, and I think you could have been more audible. You were uh, you were like on a monologue. You were on like one tone. This suggest to go on different different tones when you ask a question, expression, or when you sing a statement. And I would like to end my end the evaluation with uh, with your speech was really amazing. I enjoyed it, and I felt you were I felt you were passionate about 
the topic you had picked. Thank you. Over to you. Okay, so our last evaluator for today is Ayan Muhammad Ibrahim, who will be evaluating Zaid Mullah's speech. Okay, so Zaid Mullah, your intro was really good according to your speech because it was about yourself. But the main, uh, your uh, your body uh, your body language was also good. Your expression that all was good. Your speech was also good. But the main thing that comes to it was that your hand gestures. You, you should not have to hold on to something. You should you should show your hand gestures. You should show, show your uh, expression. Everything. No, too. actually, I was showing, but it didn't came in the camera as it was like okay. down. Face is being shown. It was looking your hands were on the table, so we can we just saw your face. It's okay. Your eye contact was good. Your eye contact was good. The things I liked about your speech was that you were talking uh, really true about your speech, like the way you won, uh, the way you lose about it also. And then uh, the, uh, the moral thing I have about you, how much ever you fail in life, you always have to get up. I really liked your line. Then usage of the word no you didn't use the word right <laughs> yeah so i think you will need to practice more on your maybe i think you you need to check your camera and your expression and your hand gestures more your speech was good and you need to add a bit more of you know flowery language explicit words yeah done So, sir, the, this uh, this photo will also be over there, right, in the main session. Yes, please. You can have the timer reports just so that we do their formality and note their timing. Hmm. Timer, your report, please. Yes. Uh, the evaluator one took forty-two seconds. The evaluator two took 58 seconds. The evaluator three took one minute, 30 seconds. Okay, so now let's introduce the main thing of today's session, table topics. So our table topics master for today is youth leader Shreya. Greetings, Mr. Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters, guests, and youth leaders. The purpose of the topic master is to facilitate table topics where guests and the youth leaders will have the opportunity to practice their impromptu speaking. I will introduce a topic and call on speakers and who, who will be giving, given two minutes to speak on the subject. So today is going to be a bit different. I'm going to share the screen and you, there will be a picture and a question below. I want the person who speaks to read out the question and then start answering. So who would like to go first? Let's see the question first. <laughs> no, no, I want the person first. <laughs> uh, put, put for us. Okay. Hamid Fawaz, can you switch on your camera? You're available. Thank you. Yes, sir. One minute, one minute. Yes, sir. Fawaz, are you ready for the table topics? Yeah. This is the first question. I want you to read it out. Do you agree with this? Why? Can you can start. Okay, I can start. Okay. Uh, the picture shows uh, a boy taking failure in the head and instead of uh, placing the failure as a 
has experience and walking ahead he is carrying all the failure and probably that will lead to depression on there okay this this picture shows that uh, you have to take your failure as an experience and you have to climb it uh, to reach your goal to succeed in what you want to achieve i agree with it actually thank you Thank you, Mohammed Fawaz. Uh, I need the next speaker. Is anyone ready to speak up? Or I will be going. Uh, I'll take it up. Okay. One minute, sorry for the inconvenience. Um, Okay. okay, so if I could grant you one wish, what would you do? You wish for and why? Okay, so if the fairy godmother comes in front of me, fairy godfather, fairy godmother in comes of in, in come, comes in front of me and says what would you want if you uh, what what is the one wish you want and why i would say i want to be the i uh, it's a prideful thing but i want to be the best educated child on this planet i will want to be the ceo of google because i will be able to change everything around their place which is already good i will want i will Okay, one wish. I'll go on. I'll go on. Then I will want to change my parents' lives. I will want to give them many things in their lives. Like my father really loves cars and that all. My mother loves clothes. I will love to give them everything what they want, and that's right. Done. Ah. Thank you, Ayan. Who is the next speaker who wants to speak up? Try Fardeen. Fardeen, are you ready? Fardeen, can you unmute your mic, Fardeen? It's okay if you can't switch on your camera, if you can just unmute yourself. Fardeen is not available. Okay, you can go to Muhammad Etizaz Hussain. Can you unmute your mic, please? Yes, sir. Okay, the screen is yours. Are you ready? For the top table topic, uh, I was not informed for the day. This is impromptu. It's she impromptu. will take. It's on the spot. She will scare anyone. She will take anyone. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So the topic is: If I could grant you one wish, no, this is what the top. you wish? This is the top. This is the top. What is the number one solution to healing the world? Finish the pollution. I would say the number one solution for healing the world is pollution. If we reduce the pollution, um, it could help in many ways, like degrading of trees, soil, and if the and if we can even start to use electric vehicles which do not use fuels that cause pollution. So it would help us very much, especially in those countries where fuel is must for their daily life and where vehicles are used more. So we can exchange fuel for electric cars. So in that way, we can help in 
healing the world by removing pollution and another thing we can plant trees more and more that is a common solution so we all can do that easily so yeah that's it. thank you mohammed atizas next one the next speaker please yeah, yeah you can pick ahmed tofi the timer okay ahmed are you ready yes yes this is your topic What makes someone a hero, or what makes you a hero? Ahmed, the mic is all yours. Unmute yourself and speak on the topic. Good behavior, good qualities of a person. Helping each other, be kind, be kind to each other, sharing and caring. Living with peace with, with each other. And that's all I can say. Okay, thank you, Ahmed. The last speaker for today, I call upon Aisha. Okay, what's my topic? What are three moral rules you will never break? <laughs> okay. Number one, something that I live by, stand for the truth and be against the wrong. I have lived by this my entire life. So even if, <clears throat> so even if there is somebody who's very close to me and is wrong, I would never ever protect them because they are wrong and I would never stand for the wrong. So that is something that I live by. I can never ever stand for the wrong. And go against the right. That is number one. Number two, uh, loyalty to relationships. Um, I know I'm not a, I'm a friendly person, but I'm not someone who makes tons of friends. So I feel like even if I have a few friends, I would want to be as loyal and I, I will maintain that relationship very well. So that is the second rule that I really, really will not ever break because uh, relationships are very important, be it friends, be it family, be it um, mentors, be teachers, be anybody. So loyalty to relationship is very important. And third rule, um, that is loyalty to your responsibilities and work. So as a student right now, I want to be loyal to my work and in my studies or as, as I grow maybe in my work or maybe in any other responsibility that I've got, loyalty towards any responsibility in any work. So these are the three moral rules that I can never break and I live by these rules. Thank you. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, and over to you, Master of Ceremonies. Okay, so now let's uh, introduce our Hark Master for today, Youth Leader Miraj. Ayan, can we have the timers report, please? Yeah, uh, Ahmed Tofi, uh, the timers report, please. Yes. The table topic speaker one took 40 seconds. The table topic speaker two, uh, two took uh, one minute, seven seconds. The table topic speaker three took one minute, uh, 17 seconds. The table topic speaker four took uh, 36 seconds. The table topic five took one minute, 26 seconds. Okay, so uh, now let's introduce our Hulk master for today, which is uh, who is uh, youth leader Miraj. Uh, again, I am sorry to cut you off. We need to know from the timer concerning anyone who uh, has been beyond time or less than the allotted time. 
for all the evaluations that he has done with related to speakers, with related to evaluators, with related to table topics. I am. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, the timer could be, uh, please get that like, if anyone is uh, not beyond the time or above the time, or he is, if he is disqualified or not. Emma Tofi. Everyone is qualified. Oh, that's not, that's not true. I think you said one of the speakers was 36 seconds, right? Uh, Ahmed Tawfiq. Ahmed, can you unmute your mic? You got one, two minutes. Two minutes, 49 seconds is what you have mentioned. Does that meet the qualifying criteria? I think you read it out as three minutes. Qualified? Now, speaker one, you said two minutes and 49 seconds. Yes. And minimum allotted time is three minutes. Yeah. So she's still short of 10 seconds or 11 seconds, rather. Okay, and second speaker? Speaker two, three minutes, 27 seconds. Okay, that's qualified. And see, speaker three took two minutes, 25 seconds. So does that meet the qualifying criteria? No. Okay, thank you. And then table topics, the first one. Table topics, speaker one took 40 seconds. And what is the minimum criteria? Minimum criteria, one minute. That is 60 seconds, right? Yes. He's short of 20 seconds. Not qualified. Okay, table topic number two. Uh, one minute, seven seconds. Does it qualify? Who is that? Uh, qualified. Who's that? I don't know. Table topic two is Ayan. 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 Table topic two is uh, one minute twenty seconds, right? One three minute, is one, one minute. minute one minute seven seconds. Oh. Okay. And table topic three. Uh, one minute seventeen seconds. Mohammed Etizaz. Okay. Table topic four. Thirty six. Ahmed himself. That is me. Yeah. Okay, table topic five. One minute, 26 seconds. Aisha Hanif. So you have not qualified in the table topics is Mohammed Fawaz and Ahmed Tofik. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. Ayan, over to you and please pass to the next thing. Okay. So now let's uh, introduce our Hark Master for today, uh, who is uh, Youth Leader Miraj. Good morning, everyone. And this is Miraj Din Muhammad. I'm the Hawk Master. I'm going to ask the uh, questions uh, related to the speech. Like who said to whom? First question is time uh, time to invent some new. Who said this word in this speech? Zaid. Correct. Fawaz. Zaid. Next is when he became a big boy. Aisha. 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 Correct. Correct. So who, who is the correct one, Miraj? Cor correct one, Aisha or Shreya? Everyone said at the yeah. same time. Yeah. He's the hawk master, so he decides. Yeah. Who is the winner? Yeah, you already chose Shriya as Hawkmaster 2. Third one is uh, do not uh, do not cross harmful. Atif. Atif. Oh. Diet. 
Joel. I said Joel. Yes, yes, correct. Yes, correct. Joel to, uh, told this word. Okay, the, this is the last one. Lucky, my friends are waiting for me. Aisha. No. no, it is Zaid. Zaid, Zaid. Zaid, yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah, you are. So who correct. is the one that you choose, Miraj? You are the heart master. Ayan. <laughs> Me? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you're Was done. the winner Ayan or you, you passed on the mic to him? Please clarify. Oh. <laughs> He said winner, so he said I am. He said winner, he said I am. He said I am. The last one. The last one, he told the correct answer. So you, you choose I am. Not you <laughs> passed on to Mike to him. He said he did both. <laughs> okay, lovely impromptu speaking. Go ahead, I am. So now we'll have our general report. Gen from the general evaluator. So who's your general evaluator? Uh, sir, in the agenda, then what's H-A-L, who is it? It's Toastmaster Ramesh. Oh. So is he here? Yes, Toastmaster Ramesh is here. You can call him, please. Okay, so Toastmaster Ramesh, could you give your uh, report, please? Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. What a fantastic session with that so far. So here's my general evaluation report. And let me just quickly flick to the timer. Where are you, timer, my friend? Timer, I've lost the timer. Where is he? Is he gone? Has he left the building? No, is he avail he's available, but he switched off his camera. Oh, okay. Right in that case, can, you, can somebody give me... A verbal cue, please. <clears throat> uh, okay, so first of all, uh, Toastmaster Tofik introduced the session. Uh, my first challenge to everyone is, uh, in my opinion, it's really the president who's in charge over here. If it's not the president, it's the vice president who should be making sure all the roles are filled. Yeah, but uh, Toastmaster Tofik did the necessaries and everybody today was extremely shy. They didn't want to put their hand up to the Gumerian role or even the Toastmaster of the Day role. So please take that as a lesson. The answer should always be yes. And then think about how you do it afterwards and you'll go so far so quickly. So moving swiftly on, after we got the roles filled, we started the, uh, the, the meeting. And then first of all, the Sergeant at Arms, uh, my first feedback uh, to the sergeant at arms is your camera was off. This is now the eighth session. You should really be thinking about putting your camera on. And if you are still having issues with signals, find a location in your house, in your room where the signal is best. Um, so that's my first feedback. My second feedback is this is session number eight, not session number six, uh, which is how you open the meeting. Other than that, I think you did a really good job. You tell us the ground rules of the meeting and then you in, uh, hand it over to the Vice President Amatullah. The Secretary was not available, so we skipped that session. Uh, overall, I think you did a pretty good job there for that small part of your role. Moving swiftly on to the Toastmaster of the Day role, I am. Uh, you were visible, you were, you were speaking clear, you introduced the timer, you introduced the Gumerian, you introduced everyone uh, in order. Uh, what I would say is um, your introduction of each role wasn't as strong as it could be. Yeah, sometimes it was a, um, okay, over to the next speaker, as opposed to actually what you should be doing is pretend you have so much energy yeah, and you should be saying, and let's all welcome the next speaker, yeah, something along those lines, because we want to make sure that the speaker, when they come on board, they have enough energy that you have given them to take the stage. Yeah, so just bear that in mind. Other than that, I think you've done fantastic. You are smiling throughout and that gives everybody good energy. Well done. Moving on to the next role, which is the timer. 
Uh, so at the time you gave the details about the different timing roles, but you didn't show the cards until you were prompted by Toastmaster Tofi. So just remember that, by the way, one final feedback for everyone in this regard is, when I'm giving feedback, the feedback isn't just for the person, everyone should be making a note of this. So that way, yeah, next time you don't have issues with the timing card because you've already heard the feedback this time around or at previous meetings. So just make a note of that. Uh, da, da, da. And then, yeah, you, you prompted for the cards. Moving on to the grammarian. A grammarian was Amatullah. You told us about what you're looking for. Yeah, and then you gave us the word of the day. Uh, I did see Toastmaster Tufik, uh paste the word of the day in the chat, so you kind of stole my feedback. That's a recommendation for everyone there. Uh, I think I'll actually come back for the grammarian or laughter just to see your report. And then I'm going to move over to the uh, speech evaluations. Uh, a speech evaluator one, Ritika, uh, number one feedback is you have no video. Yeah, so I encourage everyone here now, please don't be shy. This is the eighth meeting. Your video should be on regardless. Uh, and then you actually walked through some of the, the speech. Uh, and then you said the poem was amazing. Uh, you told us about the speech title. You told them to use hand gestures and lovely ground. Now, <clears throat> what I would say to you is actually, um, instead of saying show gestures, maybe demonstrate what you mean. Yeah, so gestures for me was mostly hidden though down here. Maybe the answer is what you should be doing is just raising your hands up and showing your gestures. So maybe demonstrate what you mean as well as just explaining it. That would be really good. Uh, and moving on to speech evaluator two, Amatullah. You talked about uh, not being audible, audible in one tone, uh, and the speech was amazing and passionate, which is good. Uh, again, this is feedback for everyone, not just for uh, Amatullah. Uh, think of the sandwich method. Yeah, so always start off with a positive. Then you have the filling in the middle. The filling in the middle is your feedback. Yeah, and then you uh, keep the best uh, feedback at the very end. The thing that you really like at the very end, because we want to make sure that the person comes back and speaks again. They don't want to be demotivated. They want to say, you know what, I did a good job. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and so think of it that way. And, and a few of the evaluations were straight away, yeah, onto the negatives. Yeah, because that's the thing that our brain picks up the most. They think about the bad things first. So always think of the sandwich method. Well done. Uh, and then speech evaluator three, I am. Uh, you talked about the introduction was good, gestures not visible, eye contact was good. Uh, and then you talked about the quote that you like. Um, and then you saved your uh, feedback at the very end, right? So I suggest go for the sandwich again, which is what I suggested. Uh, Toastmaster Shreya, you welcomed everyone. You explained the ro your role. Um, and then you said, who would like to go first? Uh, and I think you were quite uh, tough there. Say, no, no, I'm not going to give you the question. Yeah, I want the name of the person first, which is good. Right? Well, well done. Well done for standing up for your convictions. My only recommendation, I have two recommendations actually, is first of all, explain the benefit of the table topics role. Yeah, so for example, why, why even do table topics? Yes, it's fun. Yes, I love doing it or I'm scared of it. Whatever it is, actually, yeah, it's about impromptu speaking. Sometimes your line manager doesn't give you any advance notice, right? They put you on the spot and they want an answer right now. They're not going to say, I'll come back to me tomorrow and give me the answer. They're going to say, I need it right now. So what Table Topics does, it allows you to think on your feet. The more you do it, the better you get. And that's, so that's that. And the second one is, I think you had a really unique way of doing Table Topics today, which is having pictures yeah, and the question underneath. You did it once, but my recommendation is if you do it throughout, which is ask the question. Yeah, so what you did in some cases is you allowed the speaker to find the question themselves, but you did actually ask on one of the questions and the question is, yeah, so other than that, I think you did a really good job, well done. Um, we didn't have a table topics evaluator, right? 
Do we have a, a Toastmaster topic? Do we have a table topics evaluator? No, we don't have a table topics evaluator. Okay, all right, let me just quickly do that then, all right? So table topics, uh, speaker number one, you walked through the two different pictures, yeah, and then you described why the second picture was better because you're learning from it, yeah, and then you finished with, uh, I agree. <clears throat> My recommendation here would be, um, you will th think in your own mind what those different pictures mean, yeah, and then ask yourself the question, do you agree or disagree the, uh, with the statement? Yeah, and then talk to that. So for example, the structure I always use is called PREP, P-R-E-P. So what's your point or your point of view? R is to state the reason, E for give an example, and then finish with a P for point. So in this particular case is, do you agree with the statement? The answer is, I do agree with the statement. Yeah, that's your point, your point of view. And then you state your reason. And the reason is, yeah, because look, if everybody just sits with their problems and never look at a problem as a point of learning, then we will still be stuck in our own ways. Yeah, and then you go with the example. And that reminds me of an example of when I was two years old, I refused to eat my breakfast. Yeah, and I refused, and then I was sick. And then the doctor told me that if you don't eat, you'll be sick. So that's the reason I learned from that exercise. So that's the reason why I believe in this state. Yeah, so it kind of wraps up your answer and your response to the table topic. I toast uh, table topics two. You explained uh, the uh, the wish and you explain how it would benefit your parents. Yeah, you'd you buy cars and other things. Again, exactly the same response here would be, maybe don't go too wild on different examples. Just pick one and just go with that. Otherwise people get confused. Yeah, so I, I stick with uh, the number three, which is no more than three different examples or three different stories. Otherwise people just get confused and they go all over the place. But for table topics, because it's so short, just do one. One should be more than enough. Other than that, I think you, you did really well there and picked up the, uh, the, the question quite well there. Uh, table topic speaker number three, you talked about uh, the pollution and explained why. Uh, I have no recommendation for you. I think you had a good structure there and you had a good response and you told us why that's really important. Well done. Uh, speaker number four, you talked about what is good. Uh, this was about good behavior, wasn't it? Um, oh no, this was about the superhero, wasn't it? Yeah, um, anyway, so you talked about the different good qualities, be kind, be sharing, all those things. Again, I, I go back to my original point, which is use the, the prep structure and then you'll go really uh, far on that particular side. Uh, table topic speaker number three, uh, you were keen to tell us your rules of engagement. You had three rules and you walked through each of those rules one by one. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, keep doing exactly what you're doing there. Um, with all of your table topics, remember all the lessons you've learned so far in the different workshops, gestures, yeah, making sure you fit nicely in the screen, make sure you're visible. Yeah, and today we had vocal variety. So try and introduce all of those elements into table topics and you'll see how powerful your response actually becomes. And then finally, onto the Hark Master. Uh, again, you explained the purpose of your role, but you didn't uh, explain the importance of doing this particular section, and which is actually, it's all about listening, right? So teaching everybody listening skills, and the more you do it, the better you become. Overall, I think everybody's done a fantastic job in this meeting today, and I'm gonna hand you back now over to the Toastmaster of the day, uh, Ayan, back to you. Thank you, Ayan. So now, we should be adjourning the meeting right now, but we don't have the president. For adjourning the meeting would be Amatullah, vice president. Mm. Yes. Amatullah, uh, please adjourn. Yeah. I am to adjourn today's meeting. Thank you. Okay, before we join, don't leave the room now yet. Uh, let me just correct General Evaluator Ram, we are not in the eighth session. You don't want this to be over today. We don't have grand finale today. We have no, lots. Tosmas, you can't correct me because this was stated in the original meeting. I, I heard eighth meeting, so I'm just going with that. 
Uh, we don't want a bad fellow today. Do you guys? Come on, tell me. I want to hear you. Unmute yourself. No, not also, no, next definitely week. not today. We, we have planned a big grand finale, and Toastmaster Ram is also going to be there, and he's stupendously going to enjoy it. Impromptu, and it's going to be well organized as well as impromptu. We're going to play both the roles for the finale. So, guys, be prepared. We're going to hear them more in the main room. So, let's join. Well done, everyone.